Hi, welcome to Know About Me. Kids, today we're going to share the incredible story of one of the greatest scientists of all time, Albert Einstein. So, let's learn together. Hello, my young friends. I am Albert Einstein, one of the greatest scientists of all time. Have you ever wondered why the stars twinkle or how the universe works? Well, I was always curious about the world around me, and I never stopped asking questions. Today, I want to tell you my story, a journey of curiosity, discovery, and amazing ideas that changed the world. So, let's begin. I was born on March 14th. 1879, in a small town called Ulm, in Germany. When I was a little boy, my father gave me a compass, and I was amazed. No matter how I turned it, the needle always pointed in the same direction. That made me wonder. Why? That's when I realized something very important. The world is full of mysteries, and I wanted to solve them. Many people think I was a genius in school, but actually I wasn't a very good student. I found the lessons boring because I wanted to learn things in my own way. My teachers thought I was slow, but I was just thinking deeply. I loved math and science, and I kept asking questions. If you love something, never give up on it. Even though I struggled in school, I never stopped learning. I went to college in Switzerland, where I studied physics. I was fascinated by light, time, and space. I wanted to know how the universe really worked. But after I finished college, I couldn't find a job as a scientist, so I started working in a small patent office. But that didn't stop me from thinking. In 1905, something amazing happened, and I had my miracle year. I wrote four important papers that changed science forever. One of them was about my famous equation, E equals mc squared. This equation showed that energy and mass are like two sides of the same coin. It helped scientists understand how the sun shines and even led to the discovery of nuclear energy. But I wasn't done yet. In 1915, I introduced the general theory of relativity. I discovered that gravity isn't just a force, it actually bends space and time. This idea was tested when astronomers saw that light from stars bent around the sun during an eclipse. My theory was proven right and suddenly, I became famous around the world. In 1921, I won the Nobel Prize in Physics for my work on the photoelectric effect. It helped explain how light behaves, leading to many inventions, including solar panels. In the 1930s, Germany became dangerous for people like me. I had to leave and move to the United States. There, I continued my research and encouraged scientists to work for peace, not war. Science should bring people together, not divide them. I believed that knowledge should be used to help humanity, not to create destruction. Unfortunately, my discoveries were later used to develop atomic bombs, and that made me very sad. I spent the rest of my life promoting peace and encouraging young minds to use science for good. Even though I passed away in 1955, my work still inspires scientists today. My discoveries helped us understand black holes, time travel, and even the universe itself. 
My theories have helped build amazing things like GPS, nuclear energy, and space exploration. My story shows that asking questions and thinking deeply can change the world. Now that you know about me, it's time to test your knowledge. I'll ask you five questions and you'll have five seconds to choose the right answer. Let's go. Question 1. When was I born? A. 1879 B. 1899 C. 1921 Imagination is more important than knowledge. It is the preview of life's coming attractions. The correct answer is A. 1879 Question 2. What was my famous equation? A. F equals MAB E equals MC squared C. A squared plus B squared equals C squared the important thing is not to stop questioning. The correct answer is B, E equals MC squared. Question three, what prize did I win in 1921? A, the Pulitzer Prize. B, the Nobel Prize. C, the Grammy Award. A person who never made a mistake, never tried anything new. The correct answer is B, the Nobel Prize. Question 4. Where did I move when Germany became dangerous? A, England B, France C, the United States. Peace cannot be kept by force. It can only be achieved by understanding. The correct answer is C, the United States. Question 5. What is the key to discovering new things? A. Memorization. B. Asking questions. C. Doing nothing. I have no special talent. I am only passionately curious. The correct answer is B. Asking questions. Great job, my young scientists. Remember, Always ask questions, always be curious, and never stop learning. You can change the world just like I did. Keep exploring, and maybe one day you'll make an amazing discovery too. Goodbye! Like, subscribe, and share!